Zelo Client is a brand new open source client for MCPE and today I'm showing you exactly how to get it. So to get it, you want to head over to their official GitHub page. This is going to be linked right down in the description below. If you're here on mobile, just like I am, you need to scroll down to the very bottom until you find the releases section, as you can see right over here. We can simply click on that and then locate the release with the latest tag, which you can see over here is the green tag. Anyways, once you've found that, you want to download that release. So you can click on the app-release.apk right there and save it to your downloads. So now as you can see in my downloads, I've got Zelo Client and I can simply click on this and install it. That's right, it's literally that easy. With it installed, I can simply click on it just like so, and here we are inside of Zelo Client. Zelo Client is open source, meaning that all their source code is public and they are still in development as well. So although the client has a lot to offer, they haven't actually finished everything yet. You can find a checklist and stuff like that, uh, everything they plan to still add in the future, on their GitHub page. Anyways, here inside of the app, we're on the home screen where we can launch Minecraft. I'm not going to do that just yet because first we should go over to the dashboard area. Here you can uh, manage your Minecraft files, which you do need to have your storage location set to external for that. I'll show you guys in a second how that works. Anyways, for the rest, we can view some quick stats, which as you can see, you do need Minecraft installed for this to work. Scrolling down, Zelo Client obviously also has modules. They're a fully legit client, meaning they don't have any hacks or anything, but there are some incredibly useful utilities, and this is a great alternative to something like Atlas or Onyx, which costs money. Anyways, as you can see, they've got no hurt cam, Fulbright, no fog, particle disabler, Java clouds, Java cube map, and a lot more, which is really neat. We can simply turn these on, and they'll be enabled when we click on launch Minecraft in the home area. They don't have an in-game manager for this yet, although they do actually plan to add that in the future. And as you can see, you can also import and export configs, making managing these modules even easier. Here's an options.txt editor, which options.txt is basically your Minecraft settings. Once again, you need your storage set to external for this, which I'll show. Finally, in this settings area, you can actually add a Discord rich presence integration. You can set up your Minecraft configuration and view some of the information about this client. Right now, I'll just turn on Java Fancy Clouds and Fulbright. Done. Then, once we've done that, I'll go into Home and launch Minecraft. As you can see now, I've got Minecraft Zelo opened. Fantastic. This isn't going to be the exact same in this isn't going to be the exact same app as your currently installed Minecraft, but once again you do actually need it installed. This is also why you probably won't find all your worlds here. Don't worry, they'll still be in your default Minecraft low um, installation. Anyways, I was talking about external stuff earlier, so to set that correctly, go into your settings, scroll down until you find the storage option right over here, and then from file storage location, you want to change that from application to external. I generally recommend this too, it's pretty useful, it's pretty good, I highly recommend it, except if your worlds are currently, if, if you, if it, Except if you currently have application set and you change to external, you will lose access to all of your worlds and stuff like that. It's really easy, just change it back if you accidentally did it already and your worlds will still be accessible. But if you want to change it and keep your data, you need to export everything first, then change to external and then import everything again. So it's kind of a hassle because the default is application. But so also to use these Zelo client features, you need your file storage location to be set to external. And it's literally that simple. Here I've just loaded into a quick Minecraft world and you can view these beautiful clouds. And if I set the time to midnight over here, I'll still be see able to see everything incredibly clearly. Although it obviously is a lot darker out, but yeah, there's no problems with vision here. Fantastic, the Fulbright works. Anyways, for right now, that was basically that about Zelo Client. Remember, they are still in development, which 
is a good thing because it means that new stuff will be added all the time. Uh, anyways, for right now, though, that was basically that. Thank you all ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.